Hello everyone, today I'm going to be testing the Rock Pals 60 watt solar panel. I'm going to be testing it on the Rock Pals Rock Power 200 and let's take a look. The first thing you want to do is unclip the solar panel and open it up. And we're going to be using the Gold Zero Sherp 100 AC and the Rock Power 200 from Rock Pals. Today is a sunny day so it should be good. And opening the zipper pouch on the solar panel we find that the solar indicator is on which is good. And we're going to also pull out the 5.5 millimeter extension cord that comes out and take a look at these adapters. The next thing you want to do is look at the sun and angle the solar panel so it fits the sun's needs. We're at noon here so the sun is right overhead and I'm going to tilt it a little bit to match the sun's angle. Next thing you want to do is get the 5.5 millimeter cord and plug it in into your power station. Here we're using the rock pals and you can see we're pulling 29 watts which is pretty good because this is a 60 watt solar panel. Now let's try the Goal Zero Sherp 100 AC. Here you can see that it says battery empty and we need to recharge it. So first thing you want to do is get the 8 millimeter adapter from the kit and plug it in into the 5.5 millimeter port. And plugging it into the Goal Zero we can see that after waiting for about a minute or so we're getting about 46, 47 watts continuous and this is with no clouds and full sun. And the reason why we're getting more watts from the Goal Zero even though it has a PWM charge controller is because the Rock Pals is 95% charged so it'll take in less watts as we go by. And not forgetting the three USB ports on the solar panel we can plug in something like these AirPods or a phone. Next thing you want to do is plug in the port and just charge your phone like that. And keep in mind that if you close one side of the panel you will have no watts or no volts coming in even though this is monocrystalline and if you open it you'll get your full wattage back again. The to keep in mind is the hot panel it can get hot at times and you can also use these hooks on the loopholes on either side of the panel to hook something and also the monocrystalline solar panel is really durable. Thank you everyone for watching the video, make sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. Make sure to check out our other videos, testing, and reviews of all three of these products in this video.